Hello and welcome. We get some more Druid Karn here. Uh, this is an interesting hand um, on the draw. Uh, this hand could represent like a turn two to fairy if I draw a fetch land or a breeding pool. Uh, unfortunately, Arbor Elf and Horizon Canopy don't work well together, but I do get my natural draw and three looks in with Oath to maybe hit another land to start doing something interesting. So if I keep this hand, we're going turn one, Horizon Canopy, Elf. Um, I guess actually I get five. I get turn one draw, turn two draw, three looks with the Oath to try to curve out a little bit here. And if I hit a land, this hand can be pretty good against the Cascade Heavy, Saga Heavy decks that exist right now. So let's let's keep this. I run a lot of um, forest in terms of my land base. So if I draw a land, I think there's only one other or two other lands in my entire deck that aren't um, forests or fetches for forests, and that'd be the other Horizon Canopy and the Basic Plains. This hand is real weak to Thought Seize, though, if they take my Arbor Elf. Okay. Um, so I play Horizon Canopy, play Arbor Elf. Um, I lose one life. Next turn, assuming they kill my Arbor Elf, then I'm going to have to lose one more life to play the Oath, which is the exact same as if I just shock with the Temple Garden right now. I think, I think I'll still go with the Horizon Canopy, because if they don't kill the Arbor Elf, then I get a little bit more, uh, I gain one, one life off the exchange, because then I can just untap the Temple Garden, put it in play tap to play the Oath of Nyssa. So... They might not even kill the Arbor Elf because of how awkward this hand is, to be honest, so. Oh, it's dead. So I can Teferi bounce like the Dragon Rage Channeler. Um, hope to draw a land to play Karn for Engineered Explosives on one. I think that's my line right now. I just need to survive that long. Opponent is almost hellbent here, though. One card left in their hand, so if I can survive this onslaught. If they double spell, this is actually the biggest threat. Um, they don't have the land in hand. This would be swing for four, this would be three, this would still be one. So yeah, let's bounce the Luminancer. I would have taken the Teferi, um, but I already have a second Teferi, so I think I'll just take the Druid to try to be a little more mana efficient. Um, my line still minus Karn, get EE, blow up their entire board. Survive to that point if I can. Looks like they're a creature heavy burn deck. What I, I can handle the creatures at the moment, what I can't handle is the burn. Or am I just dead here? Yeah, I'm just dead here. Yep. All right. Well, that was my line, but could not survive it. And this is what our sideboard's for. 
Vizier is trash. Um, I'm going to want some combo pieces sided out. I think Ballista is actually probably fine here. Turn 2 Ballista can still kill like a, a couple of their creatures. Arbor Elf's weak, but I still need it, even if it eats burn. Karn's still good, like just being a board wipe. So I need to cut 5 cards, and they're going to come from this pile. Um, finale on 1... Finale is the better card, but I think Ecom might be slightly better here. Let me go turn to Ecom and Oriok. Let's try this. It's possible I want to cut the Teferi's for the um, tutors. I like it. Keep. I can either go fetch, if I go fetch forest, then if they kill my Arbor Elf, I can't cast Oriok Champion, so I'm just going to do Shock Arbor Elf. Next turn, fetch a forest champion. And I might even be able to be prismatic if they do like a goblin guide here. Okay. I can Prismatic Ending a Soul Scar Mage and hold up E Call for another champion. I like that. Or even a Heliod. cost me five mana to finale for if I get Heliod here I think I still want Heliod just to make this creature massive Now if they play any creatures, this will become bigger. Eventually, maybe they can get out of spell bomb reach. If yeah, let's gain some life. Let's make this bigger. Then I can give this a lifelink and just kind of win through that. It's my plan at least. And if I top deck a land, I can finale for just gaining infinite life here. doesn't really matter but I'd rather block the swift spear personal preference I just don't like the soul scar mage okay so I can play ballista for one 
Ballista will get will be a 1-1. One, one. I'll gain one life. I'll put the counter on that. It'll be two. And then I'll give it lifelink until end of turn. Spend two and then just win. All right, let's do that. And your opponent's conceding. So, seeing how that played out, I think I don't want these to fairies. I think I'd rather have the e-call. It seemed just to be better. Also, to fairy means I need like blue mana, and that might not be as efficient. So I'll just do this here. Want everything to be efficiency here. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep this. Uh, if I top deck a land, I have a bunch of Skyclaves, which might be able to just deal with their board. Go on their board until I can get to some life gain. Opponent's mulling hard. Mull to five. I think I'm going to go Forest Sprawl. Skyclave Apparition really does change the way this deck kind of functions. Um, could shock and just deal with Prismatic Ending right now, but I think I'd still rather just progress my own mana. Let's get a Forest. And go Sprawl. Naming White. Next turn, what I could do is Prismatic Ending and throw another Sprawl on, or Prismatic Ending, Oath of Nyssa, hopefully into another land, and then for another Sprawl. What I'm not doing next turn is playing Devoted Druid. Devoted Druid's really just in this deck still because I can't do... <laughs> All right. Well, that hurt. Because I can't take it all out, and I still need the mana ramp. Basic planes, sprawl, name white again, and prismatic ending you. Next turn, if I don't draw land, I could Oath of Nyssa, uh, try to draw land, and then either Skyclave if I do, or play Devoted Druid. Opponents get one card in hand, so yeah, let's. Well, let's just deal with their threat here. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough green mana if I miss the land to also cast Devoted Druid. So that's the problem I'm running into right here. Opponent using a Lava Dart to just get a free Surveil. Got some good value out of that there. Loris is now in their hand. Land. I think I have to Oath of Nyssa here to try to hit a land. And I do, but it's not not a, not not a easy land for me here. It's a little more painful than I'd like. So let's go Devoted Druid. I have another Skyclave for the Loris. There's nothing in their graveyard to buy back because all of my removal effects are exiles. What would Karn get me here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I am representing um, potential Worm Coil mana. Could just finale for Heliod, and then Karn, Ballista, and then win in 
a couple turns. But Worm Coil will also represent ending the game. So I think I'm just going to do that. Could lava dart to kill this right now, which wouldn't be a bad line. But I'm just I just want to throw the other druid out there. And if it eats that eats it, it eats it. Um it's gotta at some point. Unholy heat. Alright. Two cards in my opponent's hand, one is Luris. Okay, one card in my opponent's hand, it is just Luris. Uh, if they play Luris, I have Skyclave. If they play a creature threat, um, I don't really care about it. My next play is probably just a Devoted Druid. Or why not both? So I will be falling to uh, 11 here. There's no reason to attack. Once I land a Worm Coil, I win anyway. Probably should have attacked with one, but if my opponent had um, Bolt Creature, then it would have not been as pretty for me. All I'm trying to do right now is not to lose and now next turn I get to drop a Worm Coil and uh, just win the game. So, 3 to the league. Um, I post all the videos. I didn't... We'll see. Um, but, at the very least, I'll post a few of them. Uh, that isn't a great matchup, but I think Skyclave makes it a lot better. My opponent mulling to 5 definitely helped me in the third game. But you can kind of see in game two how the sideboard plan, which is very aggressive, uh, especially for a Karn deck, really works out there. So that is Druid Karn vs. Burn. Let me know what you think.